Hey folks, Scott Kelby here from Kelby One, and today we are looking at removing chromatic aberrations in Lightroom Classic. All right, let's take a look at this image right here, and uh, you can't tell it from just the, you know the zoomed out view, but this image has horrible chromatic aberrations, which is uh, caused by well a couple of things. It's caused by your lens, and it's it's exacerbated by sometimes our post processing. But let's go in here to look, and let's zoom, and I'll show you what I mean. Yeah, you see those. Look at that. It looks like I took a marker and drew right along here in purple, right? And the green and the purple, it's it's all pretty bad in there. So when you see that, that chromatic aberration problem, you're going to scroll down here to the lens correction panel. Now, we've talked about this here on Lightroom Killer Tips before, but there is a checkbox called Remove Chromatic Aberration. And many times that's all you'll need to do is just click the checkbox and you're done. However, in this case, you can see that I turned it on and it didn't, it didn't remove it, it just reduced it, right? So it's less, but you can still see the green, you can still see that. So we're gonna have to go over here to this little tab right here called Manual, and you'll see there's an area called Defringe. And there's an amount slider for purple and amount slider for green. So let's give it a try. Let's go to the purple and drag to the right, and you just drag until it's gone. There at about four, look at that, the purple is gone. We still have the green fringe, but that's okay. And we've got a slider for that too. Go to the amount slider. Let's drag it three, four, five. All right, I'm all the way up to five and it's still there. You can still see some green fringe over here and uh, over there. So if that happens, what this might mean is the green that it's getting rid of isn't exactly the green that's in your particular image. It's not that. So you, you have this little range thing, this little range slider for the hue. And what you can do, let's go to the green and let's expand the colors. Like let's take this blue slider here and let's drag it out a little and see if we can encapsulate. There we go. All I had to do was move it a little bit and look at that. That is gone. That worked out pretty well. Whoops, I can see. Do you see right here, there's a little bit of purple, just a tiny bit. It almost looks like a magenta little line. Let's expand that one too. So let's go over here and see if maybe we can pick that up. There we go. Just by expanding the range, it really helped get rid of that big, big time. And you can also uh, slide the green slider or the purple hue. You can slide this whole thing to help you if you have to change the whole range of where you're affecting. But that's really all there is to it. And now. Let's back off. And and in this photo of my house, uh, okay, okay, it's not my house, but you know. Anyway, <laughs> um, in this photo, uh, there's all kinds of other issues <laughs> that need to be addressed, but at least one of them isn't chromatic aberrations.